Sometimes realities are crualities. What? Yes. To understand this, watch this video till end. We are doing a book synopsis of How to Influence and Influence People by Dale Carnegie and we have completed 18 chapters and entering into the 19th chapter. And the 19th chapter is all about an appeal that everybody likes. An appeal that everybody likes. Do one thing. Go to Google and type Nobler Motives. Nobler Motives. And it is being narrated by Dale Carnegie. It is a Dale Carnegie definition you will get in the Google. So Dale Carnegie says, the person himself will think of real things. You don't need to emphasize. But all of us being idealist at heart, like to think of motives that sounds good. So in order to change the people appeal to nobler motives, I know you didn't understand, but in simple words, I will tell you, Sometimes to change the people Don't use the realities Real things will be thought. I mean they, they they themselves will think about real things, but use try to use nobler motives Appeal to nobler motives will definitely work to make you understand. I will take you to this story from this chapter So mr. Hamilton Hamilton J. Farrell is a businessman he has a tenant's business and Mr. Doe was the one of the tenant, I would say disgruntled tenant who wants to escape rent every time. And every time he used to come to Mr. Hamilton, I mean at the due date and he used to say, I'm not satisfied, I'm dissatisfied, my entire year was not good, my business was not good. All these things, he used to tell the stories to Hamilton to escape the rent. And he used to tell, I'm immediately vacating the place. And to Hamilton, it is difficult to handle this kind of disgruntled tenant. But Hamilton can say, don't you know, your lease is still pending for four months. How can you go? How can you vacant it? But Hamilton didn't do that. Instead of doing that, Hamilton used his tactics. Hamilton said, Mr. Doe, I said, I have heard about your story. I'm listening to your story. I can understand. But believe me, I am doing this business from years. Years of renting business has taught me something. I have learned something that is about human nature. Human beings are very important and my tenants are very important to me. And I have ranked you in first place, the man who will stay on his words. And we have an agreement, lease agreement as well. I don't mind if you want to gamble me, let me know. But my proposition is, proposition is different. This is my proposition. I would say only one thing. Just lay off your decision for some period of time on the table itself. Just stop your decision for some time. And discuss with your wife, your family and come back to me from now onwards till the due date first of the month you can come back to me and say i want to wake it and i will respect your decision i don't stop you you just you can go i'm sure i will not stop you but i would say only one thing you are the man of your own words you're the man who stays on your own words after all we are either men or monkeys decision lies in your hand after some period of time the due date mr doe this gentleman came to mr hamilton and paid the rent and said me and my wife decided to stay up to the lease see this is called nobler motives what did hamilton said he didn't tell the reality is your your uh, your uh, lease is pending you need to pay this four months is there or no he didn't say all these things he said only one thing you are the man of your words you will stay on your leaves oh my god these things are nobler motives sometimes realities or realities don't do that they don't probably themselves they know themselves about the real things but you need to use you need to appeal the nobler motives 
and del kanigi has given another example wonderful example of lord northcliffe once upon a time lord northcliffe's images this photographs of him has been publicized in a magazine and he doesn't want publicized those pics in the magazine and he wrote a letter he wrote he wrote a letter to the management of magazine by saying he didn't say don't publicize my picture don't publish this picture i don't like it he didn't say that but instead he said do not please do not publish my picture next time because my mother doesn't like it who doesn't understand mother's love or motherhood everyone understands isn't it so this is called nobler motives when you use nobler motives people will change when you want to change others you need to use nobler motives this is all about what i said a reality is sometimes crueltyes this is all about an appeal that everybody likes the principle of this chapter is appeal to the nobler motives appeal to the nobler motives until then lakshmi kant signing out we'll meet again with next chapter stay tuned